certain ideas that are big on back but easy on the pocket are more obvious than you think. After all, a great looking outdoor space isn't only achieved by throwing mega bucks at them and it's perfectly possible to achieve a beautiful and cozy garden on the cheap thank you but totally check garden ideas whether you are just pressing your patio area or completely redesigning your outdoor space if the latter is your project at hand then hard landscaping will be the most expensive and often inescapable bar but there are lots of ways to cut costs when both landscaping and decorating if you are just want to brighten up your garden for the warmer months there is so much you can do to transform your garden on budget planting is far the cheapest and easiest way to add color and interest and then it's all about getting creative and more hands-on with the rest of your outdoor space. Two point in the right decoration we have gathering our best cheap garden tips. Below along with more advice from professional horticulturist, landscaper and garden designer, planting color for flowers, inputs and containers is a really budget friendly way to decorate a garden. Flowers are inexpensive, decorative, and are often the first thing that guests are drawn to. They are especially effective in a small space on a trans patio or in a courtyard without a lawn where they can be seen from indoors. You could even display them on a junkyard found like a step ladder to create a really cheap but effective garden feature. Garden landscaper Ellen Wright says baskets and boots can brighten up any outdoor space and you don't need expert garden skills to blend them. There is an array of hanging baskets and boots types for all budgets. You can even choose most flowers and plants depending on your personal preference. Creating back to with vertical planting, we are talking boots fixed to walls vertical gardens and planted that grow upwards whether trees larger shrubs climbers or hedges especially those go for quickly creating privacy screening and security the cheapest option other than a few plants and pots like those above is to start with fast growing climbers such as clements armandy or wisteria by the mattress plant you can afford for quicker results another option Option is to use hanging planters with plants that trail or create living walls. Go a little more to spend using one of the best small trees to create a ceiling for your garden in the same way a pergola or a gazebo wood is always gonna be a cheaper option than having a whole new structure built. Specimen plants give a garden an instant sense of sub substance and proportion, which is difficult to achieve otherwise. The same can be said for brooders instead of paying a contractor to build a fence, invest in hedges, climbing plants and grasses to define the border and increase garden privacy and security. Again, it's always worth investing in the largest plants you can afford for quicker impact. On the other hand, instead of buying plants that will immediately achieve your desert look, invest in smaller, younger plants to save money and which with a little bit of support can grow to the same size quickly. This is even more applicable when growing your own fruit and vegetables as growing from seed is much more cost effective and higher yielding than buying lots of starter puts from garden center horticulture and landscaping lecturer julie claire patrick says it can be very tempting to go on the local garden center and buy the larger more mature plants so you can get an instant effect young plants are cheaper and grow reasonably fast with the right care they also adapt 
are quicker to the environmental conditions specific to your garden. Match blends look great in the short term, but they might take so long to settle that younger blends will catch up and may even overtake them. Remember to use a mixture of gold value shrubs, including those that will flower fruit over half interesting autumn. Use this with a mixture of spring, summer and autumn flowering herpetious perennials. These come back year after year without the need to buy again so they are long lasting and relatively high maintenance as well as representing great value for money. You can also plant many shrubs and even some small trees or even start a herb garden in containers. If it's best tied or if you're moving and want to take them with you, when you go for an eastern garden at your new home, plotting in perennials means you will spend out just once because they will last not just a year round, but for years and years. Work out the total number of square meters of your planting beds and add five shrubs or perennials for each meter. Shop around at garden centers and nurseries and expect to pay hardly anything at all. Join a local grounding club and pick up knowledge and cuttings or small plants for sale at a discounted rate saving more to make your budget go further. Herb cause perennials such as lavender and rosemary do especially well in garden brooders year after year. Use this palette converted into a table as a planting table or to display a collection of boots planted out with bright blooms, simple free effective. One of the simplest decking ideas going yet it creates a just like new look. Although we have to say it might become an annual one if you want it all to stay that way. Coordinate your planting to complement the bent colors even better. How nice are the garden floor tiles in this garden? The good news is they are not expensive or designer. In fact, they are ugly concrete tiles that have been painted with specialist exterior floor and to give them an on-trend lock costs barely one pound. Demolition and site clearance can cost a lot, especially if access is tricky and work needs a lot of clearance and that have poor access might cost thousand. So wherever possible, DIY reuse or recycle is key and all the concrete bad for a shed you have pulls down could be reused or used as a base for a day. Garden designer Christine Barve explains if you have old bits of slab and bricks, upcycle them into simple pass or small area for a pastry table and chairs. Bed them firmly into soil, checking their level with each other and you're ready to go. Or if it's thick and the surface is sound, it could be the perfect sub-base for attractive but inexpensive exterior tiles. As long as adding them won't raise the height so much that the damp-proof course of an adjoining house is compromised. There is always a way to reduce the cost of garden landscaping for seating areas and solid surface is essential. But elsewhere, cheaper gravel or even bark will do. Both are easy to lay on landscape fabric to keep the weeds down and you can break up a large area of gravel with oak slippers or ground cover planting. Gravel is in fact one of the cheapest material for your garden and you can learn how to lay gravel yourself. Barf explains gravel and good quality with membranes can make a very usable and relatively cheap path or patio. You don't need to have a hardcore base for lightly used areas. Just make sure the soil is compacted and reasonably level. Dry stacked stone or rendered block work costs less than face brook work, while western red cedar decking is cheaper than other decking timber and works just as well. Remember, a large overall sum for a redesign doesn't need to be spent all at once. Implementing a design proposal can be faced as and when money is available. So in year one, construct the hard landscape, for example, 
such as the patio's walls and paths, but bones, pergolas, and water feature unless they are built in year 2 and blanked in year 3. Complex carved walls, fences, and patterns and paving cost a lot as they are tricky to create. Garden building materials are usually designed for simple spaces and adapting them for different angles and curves as well result in some wastage. Simple straight runs are far easier to build and usually look better, especially in urban and suburban gardens where unity between the garden and your home's architecture is important. Some garden layouts can be expensive to work with and sometimes there is little above ground to show for the time and money you have invested. Go for a design that minimizes the need for extensive groundworks, foundations, and drainage. One or two level plateaux built in the slow for somewhere to site a dining table or a couple of sun lounges could be enough usable space. Solutions such as decking are also useful, needing just a few foundations for the soft frame, unlike paved areas which are either built on top or into a slope and are therefore much more costly. Lower costs can be more than 60% of a garden redesign, so spend time considering what you can do. Your soul blinding laying a new low erecting kit from burglars and arches, timber, raised beds, sample plumbing, even a decor well within the scope of the DIY enthusiast. You should know your limits though paving, brick wall, extensive garden lighting and features such as dry stone walls will need specialists. Choose local tradespeople to keep expenditure to a minimum. Use a check a trade to find a local tradesman at the best price.